Yo. So we know that a lot of ancient cultures have enjoyed the use of sauna, also hot and cold exposure. So what are the benefits of a sauna, specifically a dry sauna? So there are plenty of cardiorespiratory benefits to do with the sauna itself. This is mainly to do with the fact that our heart is racing, it's transporting a lot of blood and blood plasma around our bodies without our heart having to do a lot of work i.e. you can get a lot of the benefits of cardio or cardio training but without having to go anywhere. Another one of the benefits is the actual heat stress. Our body manufactures a number of proteins called heat shock proteins and these are really beneficial for us because they prevent certain types of damage. One of the main things heat shock proteins help us against is that of damage. As we age we accumulate a lot of damage and cellular damage. Also, as we age, these proteins start to dysfunction. They start to aggregate in the brain, build up of plaques within the body and, and tangles within the brain, also within our blood vessels. Heat shock proteins actually help us because they prevent a lot of this damage from happening. Simple ways to spur these heat shock proteins on is either through exercise and generally raising our core body temperature, but also the use of a sauna, especially if it's between sort of 65 and 80 degrees. And this increase in heat shock proteins is beneficial for up to two weeks afterwards. So one dose of sauna for 20 minutes can actually help us for up to two weeks afterwards. Also, the overall dose dependency of a sauna. They found that between one and three times per week had a effect on reduction of all-cause mortality. So 23% reduction in all-cause mortality. But the really interesting thing is, without changing any other dietary or lifestyle factors, they were able to reduce the chance of death by all-cause mortality. So nothing else changed. The really interesting thing is, between four and seven times per week, there was a reduction of nearly 40% in all-cause mortality. This was a study taken over 20 years, so quite robust data. I will link that below. If you want to learn anything more about that, then I recommend Dr. Rhonda Patrick, where I heard about all this from. But if you've got access to a sauna, or at least a way to elevate your core temperature, then it's gonna benefit you. Hope that helps.